we're not not doing so hot today with stuff, are we? What is going on? Everything is breaking. It's that it's damn electric cars. Hello and welcome to another Kyle Connor vlog. Hopefully in the last episode you checked out my BMW M2 track review and uh, really just enjoyed that car. Timon's actually driving it over to dinner right now. We're leaving the track. And it's just been a day of some problems. Now, thankfully the M2, which is the car, really didn't want to damage because it's you know a brand new press car from BMW. They were kind enough to let us do the first track review. Um, yeah, we didn't damage anything. We used a bit more tire than I was expecting. So I'm gonna buy a set of OE tires for them and just say, thanks so much. Sorry about the tires, we'll fix it for you. But we've had issues with some of the other cars, and uh, the Model S has the most uh, major problem, which is the on lap three, I noticed that I was st uh, on the brakes, and then I came off the brake pedal, but it was still in ABS, and I'm like, that felt weird. And then we started to just hear a little bit of noise, so I you know, slowed down, cooled the car off, pulled it off track, and then we noticed that the rear caliper came off its mount, which is crazy. It's like, uh, you know, when Timon put these brakes on, he torqued everything to spec, did everything right, but the actual, um, uh, you know, the, the lower brake, uh, on the right rear caliper, the lower bolt to hold in the caliper, just uh, left the chat room. So uh, the whole caliper backed its way out and jammed into the, st the wheel and basically can opened the Martian wheel. It, did, it didn't go through or anything, and it's funny, the wheel metal, because it's forged, is actually stronger than the caliper metal. Now, thankfully, we pulled the car off in time that, you know, it's still drivable. We pushed the caliper back in place, but I'm not touching the brakes at all because it's just going to back the caliper out. So I'm actually driving home in track mode so it doesn't do any brake blending. And uh, every time I stop, I can get to about three miles an hour with regen and then put the car in reverse and that will uh, you know, basically bring me to a stop. It's really kind of sketchy. I still can use the brakes, but I get one time, pretty much, one emergency stop. So it's not like a dangerous uh, accident situation, but um, yeah, not good. So we need to order a new caliper, a new wheel, um, probably a new rotor and new pads. Not the end of the world. As far as problems go, that's okay. Nothing was hurt, nothing was severely damaged, uh, but it's just always something with this Model S plaid. And while we were driving around track, I noticed Drew's under tray fell down on his Model 3. And I was like, wow. And I forgot to tell him about that, but he just called me and said, I think my under tray's flapping around. I'm like, oh yeah, that happened on track. I meant to tell you, but I forgot. And then he just called back again and said, oh, I actually got a flat tire. So both the Plaid and Drew's Model 3 are having a rough day today, but we're on our way to Texas Roadhouse. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but all the cars have issues. <laughs> the only ones that don't are the M2, I guess it needs tires, and Colton's Model 3 behind us, that one's fine. But he didn't send it too hard on track today, but he did have fun. Colton was fast out there. Yeah, he did really good. He was sending it uh, pretty good and really built up the speed. It was his first time ever driving on track. He just needs, he just needs the confidence. We just had to push him out there. Yeah, I told him just go, it does not matter how fast you go, just get out on track, get a feel for it, and then you can speed up at if you want to, but and, there's no pressure. And Ryan brought his Chevy Bolt. Oh yeah, that and was funny. He was really pushing the bolt. It was so funny. He <laughs> really goes like full guns blazing when he goes. Ryan's a good driver, actually. Yeah, because yeah. when we were at the snow track or whatever, we were all like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, Ryan's sending it. So yeah, Ryan's really good, actually. Yeah, and maybe he, we should put him in some or some school or he's something. He's done the Porsche driving experiences oh, in Atlanta and in LA. Okay. So he has track time and it oh. shows. He's he's good. He knows how to work a car pretty well. He just needs a track car, Yeah, but he, which he's getting. So today was his last day owning a Chevy Bolt. Yeah. And he sent it around on snow tires <laughs> on the track, which is great. He's like, I'm trading this thing into Tesla. And he bought, he's buying a Model 3 LFP. And he's like, it'll be out at High Plains every week with you guys. Nice. So I can't wait for that. Ryan's really, he was great. It was great to meet his girlfriend, I think Caitlin, right? Yep. Yeah, she's great. So all good. And uh, we got to go rescue Drew, see what's going on. He's got a flat. We can't hit the brakes. <laughs> Just some carnage after the track day. So well, this looks like it could be uh, something over here. Looks like and, one of our humans. Uh, yeah, on the on-ramp to the highway, no less. <laughs> I gotta put it in reverse real quick. I can't touch the brakes. Ah, oh, there we go. And then once I'm stopped, I can put it in park. There's a bunch of Teslas on the side of the road. There's that Lamborghini that went two miles an hour all day today. Always. So uh, I wonder if he has a spare tire or what his plan is, but uh, 
<laughs> well, it looks like Andreas got to him first, and uh, we're not not doing so hot today with stuff, are we? <laughs> what is going on? Everything is breaking. <laughs> it's that it's damn, crazy. it's those electric cars. At least that one's got the SpaceX package. It can fly. It's Canadian. Too. It's Canadian, yeah. right? <laughs> Ten times better. Um, all right, so what do you want to do? You want to bring that to the shop and then bring another wheel out here? I think so. Okay, so we'll just leave the car here. Yep. Okay, ripping the cruise. Yep, that's, that's uh, I think, what we got to do. All right, well, we got enough cars and people. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Timon. Go ahead, ask him. Such a huge thing. Wow. Yeah, that's a hell of a. Yeah, and this this unusual tire wear is not because of that. <laughs> right. What, what was going on here? Unrelated. <laughs> All right. We don't want to leave that on the side of the road. <laughs> but yeah, like Drew was saying in the brochure, it says you should be able to fit a bike in the Model S. You might have to take the front tire off. Oh. Well, uh, we're going to leave Drew's Model 3 here on the side of the road. So if you happen to drive by and see a gray Model 3 with Martian wheel license plate, now you know what's up. My car went out of track mode, which um, I don't really want. Thank you. Straight on. And uh, time is about to rip the M2 onto the highway. Into the rev limiter. Got an upshift there. And we are uh, about to merge this onto the highway. Andreas, who's our new friend, who's a viewer, uh, who just came to hang out with us today. Super cool guy from Germany. Uh, he's going to join us for dinner. He's going to go charge up his Model 3. He has a standard range plus. He just moved, well, from Germany to Canada, now back to the U.S. I guess he lived in the U.S. before all that, too. I don't know. Cool guy. And uh, so now we're on our way to the Martian Wheels Warehouse, where I'm trying to avoid as many bumps as I can. We're really going to get the speed up here. Um, trying to avoid as many bumps as I can so the caliper doesn't back out. But we're on our way to Martian Wheels Warehouse, where I think Drew's going to mount a different tire to that wheel. And then we're going to have dinner and then come back and get the car, or come back and get the car and then have dinner. Not sure the order. I yet. hope we have dinner because Lexi's is... waiting there. <laughs> well, she... She's gonna have a couple marks <laughs> she, deep. <laughs> she's, she's gonna be drinking. That's yeah, right. she definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> um, either way, I'm not sure how this is all gonna work out, but it's a bit of carnage after the uh, first track day of the year. But uh, no one crashed, just like ancillary stuff breaking. I mean, it, it, this is the worst case scenario. We're doing okay. You know, I always thought track mode wouldn't let you have autopilot, but uh, thanks very much. And you get snacks, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here, chilling. <laughs> Alyssa's driving. <laughs> this is great. Autopilot in track mode. Holy smokes, who knew? All right, well, I think it's good. You think it's good? Good enough. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. And uh, Colton's pulling out here. I mean, it just feels like such a massive vibration. You hear that? I think it, it maybe it's the road. But that feels more like a tire thing. Yeah, nothing's good back there. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just drive yeah, slow. We just made sure that the wheel was bolted on. We yeah. Make sure there are no gaps. Yeah. Looks like Colton's calling, so let's just answer and let him know what's going on. But it's an adventure. <laughs> We're close. We're close. We're only nine miles away, right? Right, yeah. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, okay. the, it looks like the whole assembly is wobbling now. That's what it was feeling. So wheel might be on, but the sub-assembly might be loose or coming loose or something. Yep. It's possible yep. that the hub is just gone. I don't know. So we're going to just limp it off this little street so we're not on the side of the highway. And you might be able to take back roads. Yeah, back we might just go really slow. But yeah. Let's just go uber gently around here. We will not be going on the highway anymore. I can't figure out why. Nope. Yeah. Why would that happen? I don't know. So that's, uh, I don't know. The wheel could just be not tight. At least it's all just happening on one wheel. <laughs> it's not other wheels that are having problems. And this poor guy's stuck on the side of the road, too. What do you too. think? Should I go right here? 
Yeah, yeah. let's just go into the embassy suites. Yeah, find a parking lot. Do you just gotta dump this in the parking lot, or are you trying to get it to cruise? Oh, I haven't thought about it yet. I just want to get out and look at it and, make, and just inspect it. So let's just find a parking well, lot. Come. Yeah, I just go to the, the embassy. Yeah. Yeah. Find a find a little spot here. Alrighty. Off of the main road, which is good. And no trailer parking on site. And All right. And we are pulling in. And let's see what is going on. So Colton, what what did it look like to you on the highway? Yeah, so you guys were behind me and just looking, I can just see that wheel just sitting there wobbling. So yeah, something's definitely going on. And what's weird is we have more tire wear over here, like this right down to cord that I didn't have before. So obviously, you know, our plan was to send these tires off anyway, but uh, definitely looks like, uh, yeah, not sure if these are fully bolted or what's going on, but something. So we're only six miles away from the shop. I think we can find some back roads to get it there. It looks like everything's torqued. It just looks like maybe the whole assembly isn't good back there. I don't know. But uh, we're going to limp it until it feels like the wheel's about to fall off because I already need new tires. I already need a new wheel. I already need a new caliper. I already need a new rotor. New car. I need a new car. It's just this car has not the best luck. <laughs> um, and, you know, a thought is maybe the, the subframe wasn't ever bolted in properly after the accident. Uh, and it just wasn't repaired to a hundred because I've had weird things with the car since the accident. And, um, yeah, you just never know. So anyway, we're going to get it over the shop. Then we can get it on a lift and see what's going on, but we're only six miles away. It also needs paint back here from a separate incident. <laughs> uh, the poor plaid, the poor plaid. Yeah, this is a big chunk of room. Yeah, definitely rotating. We haven't bumped it into anything, so I don't know why the car would just fall apart other than it just being a Tesla. <laughs> uh, right. Let's put in uh, Martian wheels. Martian wheels. Downing Street. Perfection. Wants to take highways? We're not going to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go... Well, I just, just put on the nav and then I'll just tell you... You'll have to trust my navigation. Well, we gotta get over here to 56th Ave. And then from 56th Ave, we're gonna take it down to 48th. And then I guess we can kind of come up, race and over this way, because we got it. we can't be on the highways. But highway. surface streets, yeah. So we need to go onto 47th Avenue. Yeah, so we're gonna come out of here, bang a right, then we're gonna turn left on 47th. We're gonna mm -hmm. go up here mm -hmm. to whatever road this is, bang a right. And then we're going to go up to 56th, down here, drop down, and then up. Because there's no way to get across the Suncor place. All right, let's do this thing. So the road's closed, so we have to add an extra two miles. Yep, I saw that. Did Timon and Drew leave with the M2 to go swap cars or no? Oh, uh, another problem was Drew didn't have the keys to the office, so he can't go in. Oh, so he's leaving the Tesla on the side of the road. To when? Tomorrow. Does he even have another car? No, he doesn't have another car. Oh my god. <laughs> the day that keeps on giving. So I guess we're going here. How does the car feel any better or no? No, not, not any better, that's for sure. Well, we made it here to the warehouse perfectly fine. And yeah, we cannot figure out what's going on back here. I'm really looking forward to getting the diagnosis. So many ideas. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can even see the cameras all messed up. Basically, it just looked like everything was a spaghetti noodle, right, Colton, is what you were saying? Yeah, I was watching the tread from the back and it's just doing this the whole way down. I was like, <laughs> okay. So, uh, man, I don't know, maybe the caliper came out because of another problem and who knows, but uh, yep, definitely some issues to work out here with the Model S. Unless there's no room. 
Well, we have uh, completed the track day. The M2 held up great. We're now at Texas Roadhouse enjoying some food right near the track or closer to Denver. After this, we'll then drive it home and we'll complete the video. But this is what uh, fun days are all about. Good days at the track. We are just leaving dinner now and we have to give Drew a ride home because he's leaving the Model 3 on the side of the road. Oh, wow. So it's manual and electric? Yeah, so you tilt it forward and it slides forward. So Alyssa is going to give you the back seat review of the M2. <laughs> It's honestly, it's pretty comfortable. How's the headroom? Terrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I need to take my sunglasses off. Oh, wow, off and it, it, does, it does reverse its... Yeah, it okay, does. Nice. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I mean... The, the cold start needs to be way more aggressive. This whole... Everything needs to be way more aggressive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so quiet. Well, we are in efficient mode. Great, well, we'll just keep everything yeah. in comfort the way... Uh, that's good. Well, what'd you learn? That these headrests come up. I thought they were just oh, damn, cares about flat back there. <laughs> we just did a track review and you were talking about <laughs> headrests. Great car. Thanks. Great Real car. <laughs> oh, and also the seats light up. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Not very much. Oh, maybe only when the door is open? Huh? Oh, yeah, there only when the door is open. My M3 did that, too. I always found it a bit gaudy. Oh, but this makes up for yes. anything you could say bad about it. Whoa, that's <laughs> I nice. actually really like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, into reverse. And I like how it's like a manual over and up. Okay, that's, that, that works. It's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, now we're going to drop you off in the opposite direction, about 40 miles. Yep. And then we're gonna go up to Fort Collins. <laughs> it is now 11.30 p.m. And uh, over there, all the way in the distance are the two charge point units that we were at earlier today, charging up the cars. And <laughs> I'm driving Drew back so we can bring a spare tire and get the Model 3 so he doesn't have to leave it overnight. So we are just covering distance in the M2, doing some highway miles. Not Nothing crazy, but a little bit. See uh, brake lights, looks like Drew is, uh, driving not driving they're reaching over <laughs> trying to start it i don't know all right let's rock and roll and now we have arrived back to the model three and just a crazy set of circumstances just leaving the track and ran over something in the road and popped the tire and totally not related to the track use at all but uh, the m2 is proven to be comfortable Alyssa was sleeping in the back shit so i guess it's comfortable enough to take a nap back there um we're going we got the uh the spare wheel in the back right there boom and we're gonna load this thing up and bolt it to the model 3 and send it on its way all right after dinner <laughs> we're back getting the model 3 wheel we had to drive all the way to drew's house in littleton <laughs> and then all the way back here but we got it all because he forgot his keys to the shop yeah, oh yeah. well now he knows to keep those on him fun, yeah my spare in the backpack maybe right <laughs> fun day fun day and uh, there we go, looking good. All right, we're all good. Drew's wide open throttle. <laughs> he did not even test to make sure it was bolted. He just sent it. And um, yep, now we gotta make the two hour trek. Well, hour and 30 minute from here, trek back to Fort Collins. So how you feeling, Alyssa? Sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> a little sun drain. It's gonna be almost a 24 hour day by the time we get back, about a 20 hour day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, almost yeah. 400 something miles, probably close to 500 miles in the M2. We are now almost home, about 30 minutes on the dot, according to iDrive, and we're just swapping drivers because I got real tired and Alyssa offered to take over the driving. You haven't driven the M2 yet, have you? Um, I drove it around the parking lot, Okay. which was exciting. But I think you got inspired by me falling asleep and that's when you woke me up to ask me to try. <laughs> well, I just, I offered you the opportunity to experience the M2 oh, out of the good. kindness of my heart. I appreciate it. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, well, you're just full efficiency mode. Right. You can adjust it however you'd like. I think I'll keep it just as it is. Alrighty. Well, uh, give it a good little hard throttle here. Ripping. Hey, boogies. Hey, boogies. Hey, boogies. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, well, let's uh, cruise on home. And 1 a.m. pulling onto the street. All right, so I just got done driving this thing. The M2, it's fun, it's fast. Um, actually, I was very impressed by the comfort of the bucket seats. At first, when you look at them, they're very intimidating. Those bolsters are very high, but it drives smoothly just like a BMW should and had a lot of fun with this car, especially around the track. It's got brand new tires. They're nice and soft and squishy right now. Uh, we put those on for BMW because we absolutely destroy the other ones, but it was good and now it's going back. So bye-bye M2. Good luck to your next reviewer.